Hey everybody. Oh. Hey everybody. Disconnected. Why is it and divided? Why are you doing that? Always repercussions. Do we have what it takes? All right, I'm going in. To be heroes? What we're doing here could change things forever. Tonight, we bring the world together. You're with us now. We celebrate oh who we are. Oh boy, this is this is getting pretty soaring already. And in a world without hope. We are the only ones brave enough to make a bunch of trailers for $60 video games for you to buy. Night Live. Are you sad? Welcome to Inspiration. Gamescom! Video game- Yeah. Gamers save the world. Welcome to Gamescom opening night live. Oh my gosh, I look pale as shit. Now this year, Gamescom is a sunlight is not my friend. Different than normal, and I hope all of you and your families are safe. <laughs> the only way to defeat COVID in is to play Super Mario Brothers. Have comforted and connected us more than ever. And with the launch of PlayStation of 5 and on. Xbox oh, no, he's back to center this now. year, games are only going to get better. Well, His bottom also, button is not completely buttoned. This very moment, oh, that's going to drive me crazy. Filled with more than 35 Jeff. games to kick off Gamescom 2020. Button your button, man. <laughs> first look at Fall Guys Season 2 and an extended gameplay demo of Ratchet and Clank I'm Rift so Apart. I was hoping he was going to say Fall Guys 5. 2. Plus, we might have a couple surprises along the way, too. Knock! But before we start, on, I want I'm, to acknowledge and thank to make the lighting a little more game even. developers, marketers, and publishers who have worked under challenging circumstances to keep us entertained this show is nothing without them or my production team happen to your shirt oh show at the <laughs> <scale> safely, <laughs> i think i got a drip of easy, coffee on especially it when all you know how like have some pretty insane you know how coffee can like I get up under the ridge of a cup and then when you, you tilt it to take to a sip games. it goes boop. And with um, that, we're move I on really, to really like this shirt. With this is a special shirt. This yesterday. is my special good boy Call shirt. Duty Black I got this Cold in Japan War. at the Eorzea Cafe. Dan Drack from and it's very comfy, about the game and it is my my, an my class, sneak peek. and it keeps me Dan, healed. how you doing? Good, Jeff. Thanks for having me here. This is uh, Dan's on the moon. been a dream project for us to work a on. A bit of transmission the, delay. the beginning of development. We knew Black Ops Cold War was going to be a direct sequel to They're Black Ops They're not calling Ops it 1, Call of Duty. And we loved the idea of returning to the pillars I saw the numbers of too. the Black Ops franchise. Deniable operations, Raven, grounded in history, software, and that shadowy is getting paranoia. credit. And we get to mix all those together, drop the player into the 1980s at the height of the Cold War. And it's Brad really Pitt, Robert Redford, feel mishmash. Into today, and also when you think Black we'll get Knack 4? When we deserve it. Start playing with Black Ops, everyone wants when gamers beat enough video games, our reward is Knack 4. So, you know, some familiar faces, so, you know, Woods, Mason, like, break it down. Um, how oh, no, wait, his buttons are two-toned, never mind. It's a direct sequel, so are we going to okay. see a lot of familiar faces? Never mind. Jeff knew what he was doing all along. Yeah, part of the fun in making this game was bringing back the iconic character. Echo the Dolphin Woods 3? They Hudson made a, they've made other Echo... Wait, that was, was on PlayStation 2. With some of the new characters. So the campaign takes place in 1981, and we Has anything been shown yet? Been mm, so well, they had some stuff the before it started. Action, they had like a tra they had trailers. The so there's like a trailer for uh, Dirt 5, that I'm, really excited about I'm this into. Is your Trey, if you're in chat. Wait, I don't know if you're in the rally. He's not even here. <laughs> so he's not always a big F1 guy. Can you maybe walk us through your thinking there? Yeah, one of the all games are secretly knack. You just have to find the hidden knack level. Was to say, let's take this Black Ops thriller. Can you imagine making an entire video game choice and just to hide the fact that it's actually knack? A little more ownership over their experience. So that starts with allowing the player to create their own character for the Cold War. Did you know that Nintendo? They can name them and pick a military background. In 1985, pretend they are developed Super Mario Brothers. They want to be as a screen to cover the fact that that game was actually knack. Optional objective. Yeah, Cowboy, I'm going to control DLCs player today. Choice moments inside some of those missions. And, and we playing that today. Fun to find that balance between the hard Today's schedule has largely been set not by me. So there's this right now. Some, then we have the we, we have a war so scheduled in New World, comes which I'm excited to check out because I feel like that's so the, the biggest reason to play that game. The and game, then after and that, control DLC. actually shape the ending of the narrative of the campaign. Call for Black Up. Thanks for the Prime sub. Uh, also, slow hips. Yeah, thank you for the sub. Absolutely, that's that was one of the big Rock, things. Thank for you for us. the like we thank you for the sub. Black Ops big gamers in chat. Wiser Panda, risks, thank you for the prime. Dude, they did some of this in Black Ops that's Two, and hey, Solo Knight. Oh, and with these features, we I've got hard. I'm sorry to hear to that. Early Black Ops games. Uh, but I will yeah, continue I existing for you. Right. Uh, well, Dan, uh, we are. I do need to play Hypno Space Outlaw. I watched the speed run, and it convinced me more than ever that I really need to play that game. Got a switch there? Maybe you could flip the switch on something exclusive for us. What are you gonna? 
Yeah, absolutely. This is really exciting because this will be the first time we've this outside the walls of the development studio. This is a scene from earlier in the game, and it's a critical point that really shows the let's, narrative. Let's, the let's give this a little little F5 action. Shows huh? this threat that our heroes are going to be battling. So let's take a look. Okay, that might have fixed it. We'll see. Uh, Crypto Victor, thank you for the sub. You're watching anime? What'd you miss? Nothing. This is world premiere. 1943. Damn it. Detailed information from the Manhattan Project was stolen from Los Alamos by the Russian spy known as Perseus. World premiere. 1968, the Vietnam War. I think I'm going to take vocal training class. Orchestrated by Perseus, attempted to steal an American-made nuclear bomb from a U.S. fire base. Five days ago, while on a mission, I feel like it can only help my career. Intel that Perseus is in play again, to be able to speak properly. Planning an attack on the West. Perseus, What's the up, Chocolate Boy 300. To be the single I don't know why you think you need a new name? Free world. Mr. Hudson. Give me Reagan. We're all aware of Perseus. We're also aware he's more myth than fact. I mean, I need Reagan to respect my pronouns man. and tell me to go defend America while slashing social security programs. And exploding the debt and somehow becoming a hero for it. CIA, Sorry. Special officer Russell Is it political to di to, to dick over Reagan right now? I feel like, uh, well, Ed, maybe only only filthy liberals agree that he was Perseus threat trash serious? president that fucked the country, but maybe that's just. Don't have to, sir. <laughs> yeah, then a lot of innocent people are gonna die. Why do you say that? That's the real Cold War. Sir, every time. Perseus Modern liberals shitting on Reagan. The Cold War. After 13 years of silence, if he's active, something big is going to happen. Something that will affect the free what world. What vocal training teach? Speaking is a skill. It's one that most people take for granted. It's a... Rit! Bum, 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 bum. Wait, no, that's pomp and circumstance. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. I should I should probably be <laughs> I should probably be yes, sir, we a little more respectful. Can you stop Perseus? We can, sir. I've already submitted the requisition. I'm team. I'm into it, by the way. They're to me, Call of Duty campaigns are big, dumb action movies, and I love them. Illegal, I absolutely love them. The as much as I love Fast and Furious you know Crossroads. Every mission we go on is but yeah. Illegal. Sergeant Using your vocal cords is a skill, and you can learn how to do it properly. It's mostly like, for me, if I talk for 12 hours straight, my vocal cords uh, kind of get a little stressed. So, that's been one of the things I've discovered on the 24-hour streams, is that my throat starts hurting about 14 hours into it. That's why I stop talking so much when we're into the weird hours, but... Hey, what's up, Wonder there Kid? Is no higher duty. Love from Nepal. Hey. Is no higher well, love right back to you from Los Angeles. And while few people will Did know you know that gamers save the world? Rest assured. Because we're going to. The entire free world. I wonder if they're going to try to rewrite the history of American war crimes in this one. I know. Oh, they're already rewriting Chinese war crimes, aren't they? Except that wasn't even a war. No, that was a war crime. Yep. Know your history. Except. Except for world's biggest markets that demand that their horrific world tragedies be Tonight swept under the rug. New game announcement for you guys as well, including this one. A new Didn't he win the war on drugs? No. He started it. Game but the war on drugs persisted well into the Clinton cam campaign before they just were like, the this is a waste. Of Haruna, a woman raised on the streets of India and haunted by visions of her own death. Haruna struggles to understand her mysterious innate abilities to manipulate the unseen. Check out this first look. This looks cool. I'm into spooky games. Yeah, congrats to drugs for winning the war on drugs. Weed's legal now. I guess it's, it was more cocaine back in the day. Actually, the war on drugs, when Big Pharma learned how to market opioids to housewives, the war on drugs kind of petered out because it became business. Man, the fucking United States, dude. If, if this, if our real world were lower in a video game, I would love the United States. But... Oh, it's starting Nixon. Uh, really? Okay. I associate it with Reagan, but that's just my my 80s baby brain. I gotta admit, I am as as much shit as I talk, I am not a historian. What kind of game is it? 
Is it like a is it like an adventure game? Is this like a Life is Strange or is it like a beat 'em up? They showed her dodging a staff attack with like a like that implies it's it's a beat 'em up, right? Like a God of War. -y. Okay, so she comes back later as an adult. All right, and then I guess she gets in spectral fights with people. Damn it! Damn it! I know Doom Eternal's coming next. Stuff stuff streams a little bit ahead, so I'm hearing it, and I want to like run into that room to watch it, but. Look at this Annapurna horror movie cast of characters. It's a racing game? What? All right, let's get to the gameplay. One of this year's big <laughs> games has been Doom Eternal. Tonight, <laughs> got an exclusive first look at an expansion called The Ancient Gods Part 1. Holy fuck, Check I'm this out. right now. Show me your secrets, Doom Eternal. He has to sharpen his Doom Blade? Okay. Was that Samur? It sounded like him. That's totally him. Is this a, is this in the past? We got auto loader. Get out of here. Got new new blur kill animations. Oh. Oh, new enemy type. Sick. Oh, he shoots in like he shoots in a V pattern, so you don't know. Like you have to dodge back and forth. Another Titan. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of platforming. Oh he oh no, I guess uh. Oh, it like an it like oh, okay. It possesses and then I guess powers up those demons. Oh, microwave beam! They invented an entire enemy for the microwave beam to be useful. Fuck. Okay, so, but that means that. Oh, fuck you! Two more marauders at once. All right. That's pretty sick, actually. I like that a lot. I'm already thinking about how to do that. Um, yeah. Oh, no, two! <laughs> no one thought they could do two! 2020 marks the 25th anniversary of a... So that means that... Game okay, that's either in the past, or Tonight Samur and Hayden are different characters. Or Hayden became Samur? Of what's next. Casey, again? Hey, Jeff. It's great to see you again. You know, six years ago, we were on the stage with you at the 2014 Game Awards, accepting the Game of the Year for Dragon Age Inquisition. And since then, there's no icon of sin. New ways to use next He's too powerful. He's been on Earth too long. To bring the world and character. I think Samer became Hayden. Yeah. So, like, guy in robe is now straight up Hayden. It was time to give you the very first look. Because he, that line of like, I knew who you were the second you came into my realm or whatever. That's a very Samer line, not a very Hayden line. Are we finally seeing Dreadwolf Rises or whatever? Remember that game? Remember when Bioware made games? I've been Bioware for a really long time, so I've got to see it grow up and turn Man. from a... From Developers a looking ponderously in a field. More than 300 people. I love it. This is not going to show anything. There's it's Anthem DLC, are you serious? Told with other people. No. I love that character so much. <laughs> <laughs> the man was Samur, ceased to be, and became Hayden. What I told was true from a certain so point of view. Yeah. There's going to be certain point of view stuff <laughs> when it comes to retconning to 2016, but that's fine. New to life for players and fans you know it's bad when it's a game reveal and then it opens up with a lot of developers talking about the, the legacy and the journey the they've been on. Dragon Age really then it's going to be a lot of talking and then a, one logo at the end. Frontier. And we've got those war. Drums. Boom, ba -ba 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 boom. And there's going to be a lens flare, and then a 3D logo is going to zoom out. Dragon Age, and then a light's going to shine across it, a flame's going to shoot up, and then there's going to be like a three or something like that. Dragon Age to me is a wonderful world to play in. Make video games, Bioware. I'm really excited about the future of Dragon Age. This That'd be a great time to see the future of Dragon Age, wouldn't original it? Original flora, original wildlife, Dragon Age cart, <laughs> architecture, Dragon Age battle royale, Dragon Age trading card game, Dragon Age Go. In the next Dragon Age, you get an opportunity to to see new things, new places. Tell me about oh, who? Tell me about it. Concept art, yeah. For the game we're working Dragon on Age now, we want to tell a story. What happens when you don't have power? 
What happens I guess you were a Grey Warden. Charge, if you don't have power in Dragon Age, you just get stabbed, the and then you, you die. In the next installment are going to be a demon crawls out of a crack in the earth and rips your spine out. Friends and family you make. That doesn't look like Dragon Age to me. In Dragon Age, that looks like a, a tween, with game tween anime. Real for you. We want characters to either be loved but then again, One of the Dragon Age Origins is like the only... Half the community wants to kill him, half the people I didn't play Inquisition, so wants to do both. I can't, I can't talk too much me, shit. The Dread Wolf. What will they call you when this is over? They have nothing to show. How long ago did they tease Dread Wolf? Was it two years? Way more realistic when you're looking at the characters and the way they walk and move and interact in the world. Players want that suspension of disbelief that this wonderful collection of digital pixels yeah, is actually. Just show us the logo. No, no, no. It's okay. That's the good kind of rumble. I actually design bosses. I help with the creature design team as well. I so mean, I all of, like the big threats that you have to go up against. It's, Nobody dies on my watch. I don't. I don't mind this kind of content. I don't mind these kinds of trailers. It's just really concerning to me that they don't have more than this to show. It's been too long. Bioware's got to fix their shit, man. Bioware's like Blizzard at this point. They don't know how to make games anymore. Owning your outcome and reactivity to the choices that you do make. I just love the possibilities that Dragon Age offers us, and I'm excited to explore a lot more of them. Yeah, this to is me, that potential is what gets you up in the morning. It's two years, and they have like opportunity, like not even alpha footage. It is during COVID. COVID was only this year. Wow, not even a thing, not even a logo, not even what? It's time for Just the started. website? Bioware, you're killing me. Oh no. Oh, that's what that's what Steph was wedding at. Back to the Future. Great Scott. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's been a serious miscalculation. Wow, wait, you're, uh, what, what's his name? Back to the Future? I'm Emmanuel Brown, Doctor of Physics. Bullshit! Medicine. You're in 1853, Emmett, Emmett Brown. Morning. Yeah, we know who you are, but what Jeff, are you doing here? I Is this a Rick and Morty Back to the, back to the Future crossover? On August 27, 2020, because it's imperative, we launched Surgeon Simulator 2. Right now. And what exactly do you have to do with Surgeon Simulator? <laughs> During the mid 20th century, some friends of mine from a large The tra train can take them. Oh, that's right. The train flew at the end. That's right. Sorry. Training facility, otherwise known as the Surgeon Simulator Training Program. Now, seven years later. Do you really need money? I, it's, it's maybe not money. Imagine the chance to get to play a character that you really liked again, even for a little bit. Don't put it on that. Like that's not. You gotta admit though, if you go back and watch Back to the Future, especially one, Chris Lloyd, Chris Lloyd's portrayal of that character is so fucking amazing. So you're saying a world premiere will save our future? Only time will tell. And speaking of time, I'm off to another world premiere. Avengers 26, The Return of the Son of Thanos, opening 2077. Yeah. I leave the it's also amazing in Roger Rabbit, for sure. Hands. Just make sure you play Surgeon's Ability 2. Now, Damn it. Don't do this. Orders. Stop it. Why is that happening, dude? So, so, is it not even a Back to the Future tie-in? They just got him to be that character to plug Surgeon Simulator? That's what's weird to me. What's up? Yeah, it, it, it skips like that feel like it's on, uh, it's on, uh, it's on the stream side of it. Back to the Future is also one of those movies where, like, mostly thanks to Stephanie, who is a Back to the Future super fan, but those movies, the, especially the first movie, has so much detail and, like, little nuances and cute Doc little baked-in jokes. Doc Brown Jacksepticeye playing Surgeon Simulator, only on opening night live. All right, well, if you thought I mean, Jeff, that you're right, crossover but was kind of crazy, that doesn't mean what you think it means. get a load of this next game announcement that I don't think anyone probably saw coming. Check this out. 
Remember, guys, we're here to save the world. Uh, no, Wonder Kid. Louisiana. Not Los Angeles. But yes, Louisiana's it's getting dicked by the hurricane. So, maybe maybe keep an eye out and see if, uh... I... I'm, I might set up, like... So tomorrow I'm doing a 24-hour Sonic stream. I'm trying to figure out how to, like, put sub-incentives on it. And I'm, I'll probably do, like, half the revenue to Red Cross to benefit victims of the hurricane or something like that. Because it, it seems bad. This is not a zombie game. This is a goof game. They don't give a dude like that der derpy glasses and tell him to hold his mouth like that if it's a serious zombie game. That's gonk mouth. Yeah, it's Last of Us Part 3. Featuring Gonk Mouth. It, I'm gonna guess this is like... This feels like PUBG. This feels like a PUBG Zombies map. Oh, never mind. Let's construct... What, Bridge Simulator? Bridge Constructor. Make sure to use code Bridge Constructor for 10% off your McDonald's order through Uber Eats. <sighs> Jeff, man. Jeff is like Doc Brown, where he's like trying to get the cables together, except it's two. It's like a video game and an unrelated property, and he's like, ah! The next three days, ah! are more streams. <laughs> with in depth looks at games, a digital cosplay contest, and some special new shows just for Gamescom. Arby's Portal presents for all things Gamescom Last of Us Part 3. Now, which you can check out at Gamescom. <laughs> what is happening, you guys? Now, one game you'll hear I had a weird dream, so I woke up in a straight state of mind, and this, this is pushing one, me further. Turn of two classic characters that I love. Check this out. Bugs Bunny and Ron Perlman team up to bring you Gone Strange. The world's most premier Match three. One elite force stands against the darkness. Sam and Max? But even they could use some help. I don't understand how Sam and Max keeps getting on this little beauty for effect. Shots. <laughs> Sam! Oh, VR Sam and Max, oh. okay. Hello, miss. I'm surprised they got that off the bottom of the barrel. I mean, I love Sam and Max. It's cute. They don't even have a title? The return of Sam and Max. Yes. All right. And now it's time to yes. say hello <laughs> to my wonderful co-host for ONL from IGN. Please say hello to Sydney Goodman. That would be actually a pretty good reaction. Thank gift. you, Jeff. Yes. What's up, everyone? I'm Sydney Goodman, and I am thrilled to be here. Gamescom is always such a fun event, and throughout oh. the show tonight, I'll be telling you. Somebody about slammed all his fist on a desk and said, "Find me the next Olivia Munn." But first, I have an award to announce. The winner of Best Nintendo Switch Game is Little Nightmares 2. Huge congratulations. Wait, they won an award? Like I said, IGN is going to be here what for the all the best Nintendo Switch game was Little Nightmares 2? Studio, where you can find me and my co-hosts for all day long games content, interviews, dev talks, and more. Yeah, maybe a little more so Jessica Chobot. Yeah, yeah. Awesome indies. The show with and also, what's the... Is that in 2020? That premieres Saturday, August 29th. I don't think that adds up either. Little Nightmares 2 was so good, sure but... Tune in for more announcements and special guests. And now, let's go back to Jeff for our next big world premiere. And we're back to Jeff. All right. Q Jeff. Awesome. Thank you so much. And live on Jeff. Uh, we are so excited to see what's in the uh, the Gamecom studio and also awesome. So they threw to her just to present best Switch, Switch game. Tomorrow, so looking forward to that. All right. Well, on to our next game. World in the premiere. next world. Oh, of they're trying to super the logo in there. That's cute. Beyond the mortal world That's of neat. Azeroth to a place where no living soul has set foot. Shadowbringers did it. The Shadowlands. Shadowbringers. After life of an entire Sh Sh Warcraft universe. Shadowbringers. The infinite realms of the Shadowlands Sh Sh are watched Sh over Sh by different factions known as Covenants, each holding dominion over a different aspect of the afterlife. And depending on how someone lived their mortal life, they may guys. end up as part of one I of think, these covenants when they cross over into I the think I've lands. I think I've learned Today, from Jeff. We're excited to give you a closer about look at the noble and pure Hyrian Covenant from the realm of Bastion, who are charged with carrying the souls of the dead into the beyond. So sit back and get ready for the world premiere of Bastion, the first in Blizzard Entertainment's new four-part series of animated shorts called 
afterlives. Enjoy. I was trying to play out that logo, but I don't know if it works. Blizzard animation. I'll take this, though. Except it's not actually animated, is it? This is a motion comic. Yeah, does Shadowlands have cat girls or big beefy lion boys? I guess it's got big beefy orc boys. Yeah, this is not a, not animated. Calling this animated is generous. Can Blizzard not even make cutscenes anymore? Light. Save my soul. Oh yeah, animated in 5 FPS. That blistering genlock frame rate. Is New World worth diving into, by the way? Uh, it depends. It depends. Ooh. Um, What I've played so far is very typical PvE-style content. Welcome to Bastion. But that whole like layer of the game exists to support the PvP, which I'm going to be doing today. Truly selfless this just looks like Diablo now. For that, which I get. Chosen. I get the problem of Blizzard having to draw heaven in World of Warcraft style. And join the ranks of the Ascent. But this just legit looks like Diablo. Serving to ferry the souls of the dead unto the Shadowlands. I serve the light, and my work is not done. There is an evil that wasn't their animation there department called no for being here. toxic and overworking their the employees. Was in Blizzard? The mall mm -hmm. long ago. Maybe. I think you'll find most most companies at some point are toxic and try to overwork their employees. That's just America, baby. That's capitalism. What time do you think you'll start, Sonic? Uh, noon. Noon Pacific, which is about 24 hours from now. Oh, he's talking about Rooster Teeth? Same answer. I didn't work there, and we didn't... We didn't communicate at all Devos, uh, RT animation why are you training this soul it is beneath your station as a paragon he cannot let go he continues to demand so there are multiple episodes of this his death. this and animation this concerns you many souls take eons to ascend yes but this one seems broken Thenios. Unlike any soul I have seen, he stayed. I have begun to wonder whether he was deemed worthy of Bastion by mistake. Be careful, Devos. I would not let the Archon hear such a thing. At, at least, time, credit where credit's due, forget. Jeff did Trust legitimately try to temper expectations going Trust into this. He was like, yeah, we're not going to have like a, a, a million game reveals. It's just going to be updates for existing games. So he did say that. Uh, Dreamscar. Thank you for the prime. And How Core Hamber. Must we train? Thank you for the sub. You are ready to ascend. And what is keeping me from ascension? Nothing ascension. but the memory of your mortal life. How can I forget when I can still feel his blade? Your soul. How did an angel not know that he had a? This to you. He Whatever. was my student. He betrayed us all. Show me. Or man, I feel like Blizzard keeps hitting this plot beat because it was the only one. Pe like it's it's the one that everyone remembers. The room the succeeding you. I'm kind of annoyed that they can't move on from Arthas. Yeah, Bluther and Arthas. It's not even their plot peak, I know, but they won't stop. You must return to the path. I mean, they've tried other things and they just don't land the same way, so. It's like Goku going student versus Frieza and Divi. Oh, you mean Super Saiyan? Gotcha, yeah. The order of the Shadowlands depends on the execution of our eternal You know, Wrath of the Lich King was the best thing that ever happened to them? You I mean, I can't disagree. That dungeon you do, where he's just, like, gangster stepping after you, As was really, really cool. Like, the DPS race of breaking down the walls while he's just, like, stomping down the hallway. That was awesome! Yeah, this is... Uther. Calling this an animatic the is about the best you can of your go for it. Has come. I 
thought I was not ready. Do you wish to see him punished? No, Luke Fox, it only looks identical to Diablo. I it is not actually Diablo. Then prepare yourself. <sighs> How did they not know what happened? How? The moment he falls. Everything in the war in World of Warcraft has been around the Lich King. And somehow Heaven had no idea. I guess they're just up there chilling. Eating ice cream and partying. I see. Only darkness. That vaping. Remember, Arthas, we brought that shit back. Me. So you wanna sign up for WoW again or what? Remember classic? It's back. Now, cast yes, this is very long. Law. Return him to the darkness he served. His oh, they're even doing the like father throwing the son off a cliff thing. He was my student. Remember what he did and take your vengeance. Why is an angel vengeance? Whatever. Kill him! Justice. Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Step on his dick! But in hell, he became a worse villain than you could ever imagine. World of Warcraft, The Return of Arthas, Part 2. The Arthasing. $50 a month. Also, it costs sixty dollars. <laughs> hmm. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that exclusive look at Bastion. Now we know many of you can't wait to experience Shadowlands, and our friends at Blizzard want you to know the wait is almost over. Blizzard make game. Blizzard can release game. Impossible. Okay. Oh yeah, it looks neat. It looks cool. Those are cool looking environments. I like that big old tree. Oh, it's a playable zone. That's kind of cool. It looks more like World of Warcraft and less like Diablo now that it's in game. This is way better. <laughs> yeah, than the eight minute slideshow. The voice acting was on point, but who we? I, I guarantee you that was not meant to be like that, but Blizzard probably didn't finish it. Just people are too busy playing D&D &D on their lunch breaks or something, man. I don't know. Yeah, if they had shown a clip and then been like, for the full series, go and watch it on YouTube, that probably would have been a little bit better. October 27th. It is official, and we have so much more Opening Night Live still we're to go for you. Here. Ratchet and Clank, PlayStation 5, uh, much more. Stay tuned. All right, but now it's time Stay for tuned? the announcement of Are a going new to commercial? universe that is coming to gaming for the first time with a project from a Canadian studio. Check this out. Oh, a universe. Golden Girls, the video game. Yeah, Otter, this is pretty disappointing. I usually try to... I genuinely try to be as, like, constructive and... They corrupted. And and positive as I can be Divided. about anything gaming, Conquered. this is pretty lame. <laughs> that Doom trailer was sick, though. Until finally, yeah, I was into that. The gates of the celestial realm were thrown open. Warhammer's been in video games oh, before. Unless this is a specific sub-brand of Warhammer. Vengeance made manifest. I'm gonna play Control now. Damn it. I wanna play Control so bad. We just saw World of Warcraft. Z. We'll take back what the dead have ravaged. I'm pretty sure there have been Warhammer games before. I don't know what this, like... I don't know what this, hey, first appearance of a property on a thing. Also, what kind of game is it? And it's on Nintendo Switch. Now you guys may remember back in June I had some a new universe. Oh, so it's like a it's like a splinter of Warhammer. For it's it's a Warhammer branded new I, October, new thing. Crash, of course, had to come back for opening night live. So let's bring him out, everybody. Crash Bandicoot. What? He's where? 
This does not spark joy. BDSM crash, yeah. Ball gag crash. Cock and ball torture crash. <laughs> Shit! Um, do you guys uh, do you guys think it is a gamer challenge to finish Crash Bandicoot One? Because that's something that's not fun and very difficult. Got a couple no's, couple yeses. apparently didn't get the memo about Gamescom. But to tell us Did more about what we just saw, I'm joined by Lou Studdert from Toys for Bob. Uh, Lou, w what did we see there with uh, Crash and the Gamescom bot? <laughs> what did we see? Uh, yeah, actually, I could use an answer to that. Cologne, but uh, what he was hinting at was kind of our reveal of what we call flashback tapes, which are a brand new style of level that we are announcing here today. Okay, so uh, how do these flashback levels kind of play into the overall Crash 4 narrative? Yeah, so the way that the, the flashback tape Tell me about the narrative. They please. are kind of a peek back in time to the 90s when Neocortex was actually testing on Crash and Coco before the events of Crash Bandicoot. No, so they, they announced like modifiers on levels. So it's like, you can do a level underwater. This, this is actually uh, a new feature. I'm not really lying, I guess. Hard, and they're really awesome. And so they're straight up 2D? Creative and we can't wait to uh, get people's hands on them. Yeah, no, I, that, I, I got to play a demo of this. That game. defies the entire so game design concept of Crash Bandicoot, which is a 2D platformer in 3D. How are they going to be sort of integrated? A corridor platformer. Are they optional, like, uh. shoot stuff? Or how do, you, how do you get to them? I mean, that's fine. It's like, sure. So players yeah, content reuse. I mean, whatever, it's more tapes. content. If you want to play more Crash, that's not bad. Uh, Especially if they're, like, they can pick up. if they're really and challenging. I don't see a problem with that. Trying to cram as much stuff in the game as you can. It's just, it's, uh, to me, to turning Crash Bandicoot into a 2D platformer removes these anything of value about it. Because Super so Mario Brothers is right there. Uh, what other fun but stuff? hey, how, how I don't, I don't want to like shit talk too bad. More content's always better, right? Sure. It's just confusing so to me spiritually we speaking. We actually use these as, like I said, puzzle rooms. Really kind of fun, nefarious, devious ways for Crash to really express... Crash had pure 2D pure levels before? Platform. Oh, okay. Kind of, uh, I'm, I'm ignorant about Crash, despite just crash, claiming to know spiritually what it's about. Us, it was really uh, cool to layer in so, kind of a unique perspective to the franchise. This is the moment when... Were they kind of like this? Really to, that, like really play on the, the, the box mechanics and Apple collection? Team, because Crash was originally like, created yeah, by puzzle Cortex, rooms basically so like you said this is a weird point in time that's never really been explored in the games before it's more like filler awesome. content right, well, crash well, what's the difference man time. looks phenomenal <laughs> the game doesn't have enough we stuff people say the devs were lazy october, if it has too much stuff it's filler content yeah thanks for having me awesome i don't i think more content's not bad after this for more gamescom I, opening night I, I think it's rooted where are they going this is all a giant commercial oh they're going to more trailers all right wow what a world. You go from trailers to trailers. Let's take a break from watching all these trailers to watch some trailers. Is this out? The Riders? Maybe? Alone, the hordes of Enoch will fall before me. But together, this entire planet will fear us. Is this Outriders? Yeah, this is Outriders. All right. In our own ways. I'm actually looking forward to this. It seems like it's more more Diablo than Destiny. Um, gives me Gears kind of vibes. Yeah, I, I went to a preview event. Like, everyone wants to dismiss it as a Destiny-like. Because, you know, three characters, web, or abilities on cooldowns. There's, like, crazy armor and a futuristic thing. Um... It really does play like Diablo 2. It's like a really fast Diablo 2. Um, and it's kind of hard to understand what that means until you play it. But there's a ton of like AoEs. There's a ton of movement effects like there. Like it's the Barbarian Leap. Like it, it's, it is Diablo 2. So I hope that that makes people more excited for it. No, it's over the shoulder. Third person action, action RPG. Um, it's a serious Borderlands. <sighs> it's, we can't have this shit, man. Hold on a minute. No. Uh -uh. Welcome to the I'm gonna get in trouble, you guys. 
Um, it's it's like Borderlands. If Borderlands actually asks you to play well, which it never does. Borderlands is like just run and shoot stuff, man. Whatever. They just ripped off the hyper song that they used for a uh, uh, for the Cyberpunk trailer. That sounds like nearly identical. Time to party. I'm trying to remember the name of that track. It's like a, it's like a one word name. Damn it. What MMO did you spend the most time playing? Final Fantasy XIV. Whoa, wait, that's like... This is from a series, right? There used to be a Super Nintendo RPG that was soccer-based. It was like a turn-based soccer game. This is cool. I like this. Oh, that looks sick! Oh, okay. Captain Tsubasa, I think that was the name of the old game. I can see you're new here. Let me get you up to speed. The Underhive's named well. A sprawl of humanity suffering away like... Oh my gosh, there's been a lot of them. Deep underground where we ain't causing um, trouble. Is this Outriders again? Girls, no matter how loud we are. And do we ever make some noise? Captain Tsubasa, Volume 2 Super Every Strikers. Rock. Yeah, the cinematic Taylor. soccer game. This is what I'm thinking of. It was for NES. And it was like, it was kind of like Tecmo Super Bowl, where it had these like anime cutscenes. Oh, it said Warhammer. My bad. That's 40k. I'm into this. Yeah, sorry. Why would someone like you want to know about an all-female gang of psychopaths, drug dealers, killers, cloners, and... I'm into that. I'll check that out. Captain Tsubasa? Sense. And Esha will cut you up just for the... Fun. Yeah, also played... It was in an episode of Game Center CX. I think that's where I saw it, too. That's it. Pretty Anything much RPG soccer. Yeah, like Blitzball. Deserve to live. That's how they should and pitch it to, to the, all the millennials. You with lead as they are Remember Blitzball? With a power mold. Now, mixing that whole pot together in a place like this, you can imagine what happens. Chaos. Gang warfare. We got red, blue, and yellow. For power. Hell, sometimes just for fun. So, think you're ready? Necromunda under Hive Wars comes to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on September 8th. But what is it? What is it? The future of the games, além de realistas, Tell me what game it is. Extremamente fidedignas e realistas. Eu acho que também se encontra em formas mais expressivas e absurdas, quebrando cada vez mais esses paradigmas de formato de videogame. But it seemed like it was PVP. E sendo usado mais do que nunca como uma ferramenta de expressão artística. XCOM sure, that makes sense. To be quite bright and quite online. The okay. next generation of console will clearly allow AAA and indie developers to build more creative-driven games that I hope will cover more diverse... Wait, what are they telling me about? ...to play all kinds of stories about Who is this? people and places, both real and... Who are these people? I want comedy games, I want... What are they saying? What? Games. I really want to see what people can do with the media. Pro futuro dos games, eu vejo uma evolução, obviamente, gráfica, mas eu vejo ainda mais evolução... This is just a, a sizzle reel of people saying what they want about games? I want games with games, buttons and levels and, you know, just DLC and other devs. For what? None of their lower thirds said wh who they worked for. Jet. Yep. Yep. Oh, you know, there you one are. One of the things I love about opening night is that we can show you the biggest games in the industry That's and also lower thirds, smaller like, titles have titles. They weren't radar. devs? So pay attention to this next game. It comes from a team of two in Sweden, Tuxedo Labs. Over the past three years, developer Dennis Gustafsson has built his own game engine to realize his vision for a fully destructible game world. What he's building has it's absolutely blown me away. So I asked Dennis to prepare a special trailer just for tonight. I hope you're equal. Oh, Lamar Wilson was one of the people. The he's a tech reviewer. Oh, okay, so they're influencers. Definitely one to watch. Tear down. Voxels. This is the Twitter destruction game. This has been done before. I mean, I guess I, I shouldn't like jump to conclusions, but there were voxel destruction games in the late '90s. Um, the problem is when you have to make a game out of it. Um, like it's cool to see stuff fall over, but that's fun for like 20 minutes. That's real satisfying, though. I want a game like Blast Core that can, like, wrap... Yeah, exactly. Picaraz. Something that can can wrap a game type... A, a repeatable and a challenging game type around destruction mechanics. 
It's a heist game? That would be cool. Yeah, okay. It seems like they're kind of getting there with it. Okay. They explained the game mode. It was pretty cool. All right. I'm into that. Um, I guess there's not going to be any other NPCs. So you just, well, you just have to, like, create a path to run and grab all these things in time. I like that, though. It's kind of like the prepare and execute aspect. Cool. That could be fun. Yeah, it's like a puzzle game. Last year at Opening Night Live, we announced Little Nightmares 2 to the world. Well, the team at Tarsier Studios hasn't shown anything since, but that changes right now. Here is a first look at the gameplay Pickle of Rick Nightmares DLC, 2, which is coming next February, with more to come throughout the week of Gamescom. Wait, didn't Little Nightmares 2 just win Best Gamescom Switch studio game? Tomorrow. Staff, they're showing the Best Switch game. Can't wait to see the best game on the Switch. Nice. All right, thank you. His mic's hot. Nice. Okay, they. I think they. I think they found out. I thought I heard. I thought I heard studio noise. They got it. They got it. Nothing bad happened. I don't know. I just watched. I just watched Leo. Le no. Um. Naked Gun. There we go. I was like, Jeff, Jeff, this is a bad time to go take a monster piss. Yeah, co-op. Would you expect anything less from the best Switch game? Gamescom 2020, best Switch game. Co-op or two-stick? I'm gonna guess co-op. Because they have stuff of them, like, jumping at different times. And it's like 3D. I guess Brothers did that okay. Yeah, twin-stick could work. Oh, no. This is awesome, though. This looks cool. Oh. This is pretty great. I really like Little Nightmares, so. Oh, you can hold hands. Oh, and they're... I don't know if that's a mechanic. It looked like their character models were just sort of put there. That would be cool if there was, like, uh, a co-op horror game where you, like, hold hands to recover health or something. Best game on Switch, baby! It should say, like... It should have the little best game... Gamescom award badge on it right now. Even though they just got the award. What about... <laughs> Can't wait to play the best Switch game. I'm WWE Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler. Oh, wow. I'm reuniting with my old buddy Mauro Ronaldo to bring you all the over-the-top action in WWE 2K Battleground. Mamma mia! <laughs> this is great. This is... So, this is... These are the kinds of wrestling games that I like. Not the sim ones. Like Midway-style ridiculous. it out like never before. There was one in Gen 7, like, it was like WWE Legends or something like that. And it was like, all all big wrestlers hyper-deformed, and it was actually a really fun game. Um, it even had like a All-Stars, that was it, thank you. WWE All-Stars. That was a fun game. I like that one. I think the... I remember E3, they even showed like, Connect integration, where you could like, hit somebody over the head with a, a chair. But it was just some guy doing this. So good to see the belt I think they cut that feature now, wisely. Let's keep this party rolling with another matchup. <laughs> Look out, Moro. Let him die. Undertaker has risen and Let Undertaker rest, please. For his last ride. Let him fall asleep in a big comfy chair. That's what the Undertaker deserves. Oh, no. He just hit the snooze button. How do you lose like that? What's the matter with you, Legend? What's up, G Thrash? That you're gonna experience. Uh, you have been noticed, sir. Whew, that's a big toy hammer. Oh, 
I can't believe my eyes. Seth Rollins delivers the stomp. What a night. What a night. This oh is boy. the greatest thing I've ever seen. It was seen. a real affliction shirt. Pre-order WWE 2K Battlegrounds today and Brawl Without Limits. That's fun. Mamma Mia! Oh, sorry, Moro. I know that Didn't see no right. Cena, though. But then again, I wouldn't have even if he were in the game. So Hello we don't know. Again. I have even more awards to announce, so let's get right down yes! to it. Yes! More awards! Give it to me! action adventure game is Watch Dogs Legion. Not out yet? Resistance. Okay. And it starts with you. I can't wait to play the best action adventure game. So these these awards legitimately must be will people will not give us assets unless we give them an award. Not out yet. Um Star Wars Squadron. What is happening? It must have been like uh like Disney or Lucas or whatever. We'll give you best action game. You just have to give us a trailer or something. What the fuck? The winner of best multiplayer game is Operation Tango. In the year that Valorant came out, Operation Tango gets best multiplayer. Yeah, sure that. I used to be an explorer. The winner of best indie game is Curious Expedition 2. I assume it's not out yet. Did not believe what I had witnessed. I... It was time for the world to learn my name. Oh, Paradise Killer comes out pretty soon. Congratulations to all the winners. I'm excited for that. As I mentioned, IGN will be here for all of Gamescom with great shows. And Praise plays God. Plays all your gaming news. IGN, thank you. 2020 is the heart Where would I get my news about awards? Right on IGN. And Sizzle Reels featuring Hideo Kojima. Gamescom now is your virtual show floor with up to the second live coverage. Gamescom Daily Show, Gamescom's first ever late night talk show. Our Gamescom Awesome Indie Show, the freshest deep cuts in indie gaming. And finally, the Gamescom Best of Show, including the Gamescom Award. Gamescom 2020 is available on IGN and wherever you stream Gamescom now. And now it is time to talk about that best action game winner, Star Wars Squadrons. This is a new immersive space combat I game. This had to be it. That delivers we'll the give you an award Star Wars pilot if you fantasy. give us something. We've missed those. In Squadrons, you'll suit up and fly for both the New Republic and the Galactic Empire across intense 5v5 multiplayer battles. Best action as well as game. An all new authentic single player story set after the events of Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi. Today, we'll get a glimpse at what Squadron's story has to offer by taking a brief look at one of the single-player missions featuring some light narration by the Motive team. What's Let's going on, out. you guys? What is happening? I never want this to end. This is like, I'm not even high. We all choose our path. This is the One cheapest high you'll ever get. Dark. Freedom or destruction. I like that music that's kind of kind of Star Wars, but definitely not. Alderaan in order to spread fear and douse the fire. Is this supposed to be our Carrie Fisher sound alike? Pilots of the Rebel Alliance. Or is this Mon Mothma? I like that though. That's cool. It's like the trench run from Episode Four. It was their bravery that ended Palpatine's reign and brought about our new Republic. However, the Empire lives on, shattered though it may be. As I speak, Imperial forces are edging toward the Bormia sector, hoping to end our new Republic before we find our foot. They're shooting our logo. The Empire collapses. They try to tighten their grip. But the galaxy is changing, and you can be a part of it. With the help of... Brain. So he said that this trailer was going to give us a glimpse at the story. Make a choice. So far, the story is... The Republic. Empire bad. Go galaxy shoot him. For the better. Hi, I'm Suzanne Hunka. Okay. That was it. I was going to lose Wars my mind. Quadrants. Our single player story is one of daring pilots and deep seated rivalries. Take Titan Squadron. Hunt down this Starhawk and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Sloan. Performance cap looks good. Over the course of the story, you'll fly as two pilots on opposite sides of the world. It should be FMV. And it should be FMV. You'll have the option but to experience take this. every mission. Yeah. Immersed in They're doing the Wing Commander thing. That's cool. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a car. It's Wedge! We're giving you a clue. Remember Wedge! 
behind enemy lines. One of our spies, this looks cool. Thorn, I'm into this. Vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. And this is like, Your this is the treatment of the of the brand that everybody wanted, right? Story-based, single-player games, enemy lines, with characters and Star Wars things. Oh, that's cool. Oh, pretty cool. When you've secured the area, you will escort so yeah, it looks like there's like a drift mechanic where you can kind of carry your momentum, but it's not straight zero-g flying because that'd probably be a little much for people. At least they're getting a fucking game out, speaking of Wing Commander. Yeah. Squadron 42! Any day now! Mark Hamill, baby! Gary Oldman or some? Whatever. There's also a decoupled mode. It's an unlockable. Oh. See, like, yeah, it looks like... I'm gonna guess, like, if, if it's like a racing game, you just hold the left trigger and you can turn and you'll maintain some of your momentum, but it's like a... It's like a parabola instead of just legitimately being zero-g inertia. Each mission will immerse you like some of the older uh, flight sims, the but those got pretty wild, uh, especially in multiplayer, dude. Squad mates between missions. Playing X-wing Alliance online, that was crazy. All eight starfighters and join the galaxy's finest. I need you focused and ready to go. From bombing runs at the Nadiri dockyards to setting a trap in the Xavian abyss. The story of these rival squadrons this will push cool. the war to the brink. I'm into this. Find the galaxy for years to come. Customize the starfighters, yeah. I'm gonna slap my Ahagao full body skin over my X-wing. Like, I'm into that. That was a cool trailer. That was a cool trailer. Didn't actually say anything about the story, but that was a cool trailer. That is not all EA has to share from a galaxy far, far away today. At Star Wars Galaxy Edge, you can enter the world of Batu, where you can visit Oga's Cantina or jump into the Millennium Falcon on a run to Smuggler's Cove. It was this incredible adventure at Disneyland Resort and Walt Disney World Resort that inspired The Sims' latest game pack. Check this out. The Sims? Star Wars. I guess I'm surprised it took this long. Wow! The Sims Disneyland? The brands! Someone stop the brands! Oh, Tudu! Wait, so does this mean Star Wars is now official is Simlish in an acceptable language and Star it really is Galaxy's Edge. You can go to Galaxy Oh, their their parks department is eating it too. This is probably how they're gonna get money. Dude! Okay, so Disney Parks is is losing ass loads of money. So I never thought about Disney Parks licensing. So yeah, Disney gets some cash by licensing all of these environments. That is what the bar looks like. Same DJ and everything. We actually got to go there. Slightly more polygons in person, but. Man, what do you think approvals for that were like? What can Sims do in English, or what can Sims do in Star Wars land? Are you allowed to fight with a lightsaber? I guess so. Are you... There's like a Rey sim? Or is it like a cast member dressed as Rey? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I mean, I can't... It's, it's cool, and, and it's weird to me that Sims hasn't been doing this more, given what a platform The Sims is, but the brands, man. There's even more Star Wars to come later in the show. The absolute Lego biggest Star Wars, the Skywalker companies mishmashing their stuff. To our second hour, we've got Fall Guys Season 2 still to come, the reveal of that, which I can't wait for you guys to see, and of course... A gameplay demo of Ratchet. It has. It's just the biggest brand. Yeah. Part for remember there being some stuff. Like, right they've done now, partnerships and you stuff. Might remember this next what else is the, have they done in Sims? From last year's Microsoft E3 event. And today, I'm excited to share a new announcement from the team. This interactive thriller about a man stuck in a time loop is one of this year's most intriguing indie titles. Oh, and now I was excited to see this. an absolutely all-star cast to the game. Here's a whole new look. At 12 minutes. Ikea and designer clothing brands? Okay. Yeah, this... I mean, that makes sense, right? Sims is a is a game about All basically right. American uh, consumerism. I want you to think of a flower. But uh, okay. this feels like a bit more of a stretch. I guess they've had destination expansions, too. To no, 
Uh, Noah Ever. I was wondering about that too. How long this game is? Or sorry, this this. To its bud. Think of that bud. How long this show is supposed to be? Because I'm supposed to. As a whole. That doesn't like Willem Dafoe. Silently repeat these phrases. May you be free from suffering. That is absolutely Willem Dafoe. Free from fear. May you know peace and joy. Yeah. Good call. Call it, call it. Oh, it's two hours, so it's gonna end right at one. Crap. That's when my war is supposed to start. That was pretty... That was cool. I'm more excited for that game now. That video was on point. That's going to be a really special indie game. So glad to announce that here on the show. Uh, now, last year at the Game Awards, we announced Godfall, a new looter shooter coming to PlayStation 5. Looter slasher. Counterplay. Tonight, we've got they made a it up. quick sneak peek of one of the new Valor plates with more footage coming. As oh, part pretty of much the first Com weapons and sims. You're right. Yeah, it showed fighting. You will be playing this on your PS5, because there will be nothing else. I don't know why people are so primed to dislike this game. I guarantee you people are going to play it. Especially, especially, uh, is it free to play? It looks too good to be free to play, I'm going to say it. But if it is, holy crap. You know, people can snark all they want. It's not free to play. I think even still. I think even still. What's generic? That was it? That was our... Mm. We have much more O&L to come. Exclusive looks at Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker saga. Why did they cut Fall that short, guys, but they had a 12-minute animatic you see what the of somebody, like, holding up their drawings? And so much more. But first, I'm sure you saw that earlier this week, Heart of Deimos, Warframe's newest uh, expansion, was released on PC, Xbox, It and seems PS4. like they got and their today, assets in real late. On Switch, That's what I'm going to guess. Platforms. The producer? Here's a look. At the heart of Deimos. I'm gonna guess that they got that gameplay last night and they were like, well, we have, they said it would be a, a 15 second sizzle and they gave us 20 minutes of unedited gameplay. And they were like, well, we have no time. Just find the best part. And that was that. Because they already had to run a show or something. It raged unchecked. Man, great can on that cyber warrior. Caked out for days. Life, we are infested with it. <laughs> Destiny voice, yeah. This is Warframe. What? This is actually literally Warframe. Now, the gateway is failing. The jaws close. Yeah. I noticed Godfall didn't win best action game. The That's weird. Heartbeat. <laughs> How weird. Try turning it off and on again. That even kind of sounded like Nolan North. They didn't get Nolan North to voice a quirky robot, did they? Cornbot? Yeah. Behold, adventurers, I'm Cornbot. Was that really Nolan North? No. No. Nolan North adds Cornbot to his. It's my 2500th character. So many people have been discovering or rediscovering video games during lockdown, whether it be older people or bored teenagers or middle-aged parents who suddenly find they have to do something together with their kids. Whatever, man. And if they asked me to ramble about video games, I would do it. Games in 2020 than any other kind of insulted ever. they didn't. And How dare they? As a result, it's more important than ever that we keep making different interesting things. You already told us that we're champions for playing video games. A gente está passando tem sido um período difícil a todos. Então, nesse momento eu acho que a gente precisa lembrar de mostrar mais empatia. Yeah, it's I mean, so Jeff Keighley always tries to make all of his events a grand celebration of games and gaming culture, and I think this is how he's doing it. Also, I think paying paying putting quarters in the representation machine by trying to get people from different corona uh, different time, regions of the world. Uh, care about other people, it's not just North American uh, YouTubers and influencers. So, I think pessoal, that's a, a that's a good thing. It's a cool thing. Incredible. But also, they could really chop down the runtime. And I don't know that any of these insights are. I think people watching the show already like games. They don't need to be told why games are good. 
Uh, this this is more to me. This is more brand building for Jeff Keighley and his shows. They're trying. He's trying to build. Also, why is that a still image and not a? That's weird. I feel like that should have been a motion graphic. Um, it, I feel like it's just him brand building for the for the positive and constructive imagery of his show. Nack. Nack. Ooh. Oh, is this Bionicle? <laughs> You're a bit late. What did you miss? Um, Little Nightmares 2 looks pretty cool. Doom DLC trailer was sick. Uh, it's PUBG. It looks like an arms knockoff, kind of. The, 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 game, like the gameplay they're implying looks real similar to arms. Checking the list. Oh, it's Godfall. It's a mecha game similar to Power Rangers. Alright. I mean, Power Rangers isn't a, isn't a game. They had to put League on it because Rocket League is popular. Okay, arena brawler. Looks like arms. I stand by my original statement. Another cro- A brand? Ronald McDonald in Superbot Fighting League. They can't afford him. All right, guys, we're back officially into hour two. We've got an hour more of great stuff to show you. Jeff, Destiny don't say it like that. Beyond Light Stasis, you're going to see uh, a brand new look at that. Fall Guys Season 2 and Ratchet and & Clank for PlayStation 5 and so much more across the next so hour. So we're going to go right up to the, uh, right up to the, 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 the bead, huh? It's the start of Gamescom 2020. But right now, on September 25th, Mafia Definitive Edition launches a comprehensive, built-from-the-ground-up remake of the original Mafia. Tonight, we've got the exclusive debut of the next trailer, called A Life of Reward Too Big to Ignore, which deals with Tommy's induction into the Salieri crime family. Check this out. Finkenstein, thanks for gifting us up. Yeah, Fall Guys and Destiny. Guys. I'm sure Fall Guys is at the end. In this room... They're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that the mafia remake? any of us. Caller, where are you at? Oh, there you are. Okay. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. One day you're busting your back doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels. I mean, it looks really good. The boat. And then next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money. <laughs> Go get him, Tommy! Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. You want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? Don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. Now you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. Yeah, this looks alright. You abuse my trust. Don Salieri. You won't ever need to worry I mean, about me. It does seem like it's a collection of, of Godfather and Mafioso stereotypes, but Welcome whatever, man. Family. It's a video game. Next, we're going to introduce you to a turn-based multiplayer strategy FPS from a team in Montreal, Canada, Lemnis Gate. is coming in early 2021 and has a unique mechanic built around a 25-second time loop. Check this out. Time loop. Turn-based strategy shooter. Oh, I guess you have to, like, run and position yourself and, like, take shots. That's a cool idea. Well, I guess I shouldn't assume that that's what it is before I see it. Okay. So you like, yeah, you do your run. It's, it's like Frozen Synapse, actually. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You like, you put out all your... Uh, you, you do all your moves and then you try to interrupt what happens and then they try to interrupt you. That's a cool idea. That's a very cool idea.
Are time loops the new thing? Yeah, it is, it is appearing a lot more than you'd think. Maybe everyone played Outer Wilds and they were like, Oh shit! Seems, seems interesting. That's a, that's a neat idea. Next spring, get ready to experience memorable moments and non-stop action from all nine Star Wars films in Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. The entire series... Playing through Episode 8 and 9 in Lego would be LEGO an interesting humor. journey. And now we've got your first look at the gameplay trailer. Are Lego Kylo and Lego Rey gonna smooch? Just tap their little Legos together? I want to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi like my father. The Force is unusually strong with him. I like how everyone that was being snarky about Godfall is so hyped for this, even though it's the exact same game every time. Maybe think about that, you guys. Another. Lego is cute, so it gets a pass. I guess that's fair. Your sister Leia sent me. <laughs> this is cute. We need your help. Oh. <laughs> Show Luke sucking blue milk out of that titty. Oh, that's okay. Oh, that's cute. I was about to say, we haven't seen any of the prequels yet. There they are. Punch it. Go. Oh. Not him. The Falcon. If it's super good every time, I don't care if it's just a copy. Why doesn't that logic apply to other games? I, I know why. I'm just saying. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. So be it, Jedi. I kind of liked it before they talked. It's a great kids game. It is. I mean, it's a great anybody game. I'm gonna say this, it's a great stoner game. Because you can just kind of run around and do whatever. You don't have to, like, track objectives or care much or get challenged. Man, LEGO Star Wars looks so fun coming to next gen as well. All right, we'll be right back with more world premieres Dude, from huge weed. new games like Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, Are we gonna take another of Honor, commercial Above break? and Beyond, and Destiny 2. But before that, here's a look at a game that is launching tonight. Yeah, they were forced to be Nintendo a little more creative. Switch I agree. Steam. I also it's thought it was cute Struggle when they were just Frontier. grunting and, and ooking at each other. Like, they had to emote. And since you knew the story, it was just it was fun to have them Check kind of pantomime it. Remember, you can play this tonight. <gasps> Oh my gosh. This looks... Got a, got a Guts game. Well, I do like my, I do like myself a little bit of the weird. That reminds me, did that, that game, Freedom Finger, did that ever come out? That's the sort of game I would play just to see the arts, the art throughout it. Like, worth it for the ride. Just to see, just a glimpse into somebody else's brain. It's a good name, too. No, oh, G Fuel! G Fuel, 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 G Fuel. Don't get mad at me. Jonathan G. Fuel. Oh, is this the... Uh, oh, yeah. Age of Empires remake. They got, re uh, got real buy-in from Disney, huh? 
Sims, Star Wars, and uh, Lego. Or I guess maybe just EA. Yeah. Weird that this game didn't get RTS of the year. Yeah, posture and G Fuel check. Insert the G Fuel needle into your arm. G Fuel needle has detected your caffeine levels are very low. Consume G Fuel now. Gia Fuel? Yeah, Jonathan G Fuel and Gia Fuel. The power couple keeping gamers strong. <laughs> I don't have problems with people copying their own games into new ones. Heck, Destiny 2 is just Destiny 1 without all the content at first. Yeah, no, no, I... I Trey, I'm not calling calling you out specifically. And actually, most people in chat, y'all are usually pretty chill about that stuff. But, but no, it's just like... I'm not judging anyone. I'm just acknowledging that sometimes there are double standards based on nostalgia. But then again, that's obvious. So, like, me saying it out loud is kind of useless. That's all. But then again, me, uh, you know, you're watching a stream of a guy scream at video game trilogy. Yes! Now we're doing it. This is the third one. I haven't even played the second one yet. <laughs> Steph, we gotta play the second Dark Pictures Watch game. Proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope. Sometimes I don't know if she doesn't hear me or just doesn't answer me. Yeah, there was a second one. Mm -hmm. Man of Medan was the first one. I thought the second one was already out. This is the second one? Eh? Oh, my bad. For some reason, I was like, it's out. Oh, you're right. My bad. Little hope. Maybe there was a demo or something? Until Dawn was the first one? Technically, it was, but that's that property is owned by PlayStation, I think. Trey, where you at? Vroom! Look at these vroom vrooms! What? 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 I gotta say, the game that Project Cars has been out for a long time. Too, that I love going back to is Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I have to say, since God, I still gotta finish Odyssey. Out, uh, Assassin's Creed, uh, so to speak. That was my why would anyone play Odyssey when Ghost of Tsushima is, is out right there? Into Assassin's Creed Odyssey. At the moment, I enjoy to play Fall Guys uh, with my friends. It's very funny, easy to learn, but hard to master. I have a few games that I binge play, um, games that I return to every year. Uh, Halo, the entire Master Chief Collection, is really a big one for me where that's concerned. But I also still just casually binge Animal Crossing, and I've been doing that basically all year. I haven't put down Animal Crossing since I downloaded it. I find the daily repetition. I clapped when I start. Yay! <laughs> Uh, although, much like my house, my island is still... We must love, support, and incur and hold up a line. Yeah, it's weird that those are all still images. Best Microsoft Xbox game. And the winner... Microsoft Xbox... Why. Congratulations to Don't Not Entertainment. Well, after a big day of Gamescom events and announcements, you'll be happy to know that IGN is going to... What? Tell me why is not even a platform exclusive. And it came out today. Late night show experience from gamers for gamers. Back to you, Jeff. Right? That's not an Xbox. Thank you very much, Sid. Uh, and by the way, congratulations to Don't Nod for uh, Tell Me Why, a really important game that is... Oh, no. Right now. Okay, it's Xbox and Windows. My bad. Xbox, Xbox and Game Pass. And uh, as we know, there's a lot going okay. on in the world. My bad, my bad, my bad. And the pandemic. Uh, between social conflicts we're seeing in the news and acts of nature, we can see how vulnerable we as people can sometimes be. Mm. And now I think it's as important time as ever to remember to come together and support one another. We are a global gaming community. There are millions of people watching tonight, and I know we're all here because we love games, and we know that games are good in the world and can bring us together, and I think we've all felt that in 2020. So I think that's really important to remember amongst all the games and trailers. All right, well, one, gay, uh, one, one way as a community we can come together to do some good is the Gamescom Forest. Did Gamescom Jeff has launched a just announced the Alpha Gay? By planting a Gamescom Forest together with the community. Gamers worldwide can go to no fear, one gay. Global and donate to plant more trees. So let's plant a forest together. 
All right. Well, now we're going to move on to another game. And this Wait, what? 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 That went way too fast. What are we planting? This is a dark space combat shooter where players take control of Nara on a quest to destroy the dark cult that created... IGN presents Day of the Year. ...4K 60 FPS environments on next-gen hardware. Here is the first look at gameplay from Course. From what? Course? Okay. You have broken my heart. Oop. There we go. Oh, okay, fine, whatever. You will be broken. I was gonna put like game games are good, but I had to I had to pivot right at the end. This looks neat. I'm down with like bleep bleepy bloopy explodey flight games. I think yeah, I know they showed this before, right? They don't really do these games anymore. It was like Strike Suit Zero. It was like the last one I remember. The kind of double A flight combat game. But then you also turned into a mech suit, so that game ruled. Oh, Everspace. Yeah, I got. Hmm. I've had Everspace. Yeah, Chorus. That's right. This game looks cool. Um. I've had Everspace installed forever. For long enough to then install Everspace 2 and be like, well. I guess I'll get back to that someday. How many crowns have you won? If one game has defined the summer of 2020, it absolutely is Fall Guys from Mediatonic in London and Devolver. Don't this expect game much. Is setting records and adjust expectations much down, you guys. Face. Fall Guys, I think, represents our industry at its absolute best. Well, soon the Fall Guys experience will evolve with Season 2. There's a lot of new stuff coming. I mean, hopefully there's tonight, a sizzle reel of, like, new modes and stuff. That would, be, that would be the best, I think. peek at what's next. Get ready. I think the internet is about to freak out. Here it is, Fall Guys Season 2. Hey, I'm Joe, I'm the lead game designer on Four Guys Ultimate Knockout, and I just want to reach out and say thank you to everyone who's been playing and enjoying the game so far. As a team, we've been looking at all the fan arts, the memes, and the montages that people have been posting online, and the response to the game has really blown us away. Today, yeah, we're in season one, one right now. The rounds and the costumes that they or rather, it became season one once the game two. blew up. It may have been their plan all along. It certainly matches the game very well. Okay, yeah, new modes. In season two, you'll be dressing your full guy as a medieval hero. Uh, across brand new rounds inspired by uh, quests from the Middle Ages. Cool. Dodge giant drawbridges, dodge swinging axes, and scale movable sea ramps in the quest for ultimate game show. Oh, you can move giant bridges? Okay, I like that. Good troll material there. A lot of opportunities for mid-air bonks of people trying to clear those walls. No, look at, look at him. Look at the little guy. Whoa, you little... Look at you, little potato boy. Where'd your little Merlin, Merlin hat? Oh, movable objects. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Can you move objects while people are standing on them? You have to be able to. The game has pretty good movement, like frictional physics with movement objects. That's great. All right, well, I take it back. I told you to to expect a little, but that's actually pretty great. Wait, they gave Fall Guys boobs? Where? I didn't see boobs. My father has Colorado in the palm of his hand. He's so, afraid to close his fist. The way that that has to work is that the, there has to be a path of objects you can't move. Otherwise, if like a critical mass of people decide to troll, no one can clear the stage, right? Oh, one of the skins of the fat lady from the opera. I gotcha, okay. Is this Wasteland 3? Yeah, Wasteland 3. Best action game, Xbox. Wasteland 3. Best action game, starting with a W. Oh, Wasteland's not XCOM. It's it's Fallout 1 and 2. It's turn-based RPG combat. Which is, yeah, I'll admit, a little a little closer to XCOM than other than like what Fallout is now. But Wasteland is actually Fallout. There, I said it. Fallout was actually made to be a Wasteland game. It was a Wasteland knockoff. 
kind of in the way that uh, Warcraft was a Warhammer knockoff. Not that Wasteland is a huge property, but seriously, that's where it, where it came from. Cold take, yeah, I know. That's a take where people are rolling their eyes. Shut up, I know. Go back to Arizona, Rangers, and I'll pretend none of this happened. Is it weird? I can't care. Stay and Not really. die Game Pass, though. You guys should check it out. I do need to play the XCOM DLC. I didn't even finish XCOM 2, and I love XCOM. Just too many games, man. Now I, I gotta go. Found any new appreciation for gaming at this time because my appreciation for gaming before couldn't be higher. Com certeza, jogos multiplayer preenchem completamente a conexão social. What kind of game is Wasteland? Com outras pessoas nesses tempos de isolamento. Isometric RPG. Uh, kind of like Divinity Original yeah, Sin. Might be the close, closest modern thing to it. Turn-based turn -based combat. I've always taken for granted. At the moment, I'm playing Ghost of Tsushima, and, you know, I kind of prefer it to the real Japan just because I've heard that in real life, they don't let you run around with tarmanas. I appreciate games a lot more Why than it films, that? music, or whatever. And it's just fine uh, for me to, to have the time to play with friends or even with my family. Uh, to have a lot of fun. I've been mostly at home with small children and gaming is the only thing that I get to do for myself anymore. I find it's not only an escape, it's also a way to challenge my brain. One game is becoming clearly more important for a lot of people. You know, play is a natural instinct and from Animal Crossing to The Last of Us Part 2 or Ori, yes, yes, it's definitely an incredible time now to be a gamer. He's yes. got all those camera punches. Did he edit his own video, I guess? Also, yeah, it's weird that this card is a still image and not a motion Hey everyone, graphic. I'm Vince Sampella, head of Respawn Entertainment. When we set out to create Medal of Honor above and beyond, we knew we wanted to bring the series back to its roots. This is so weird the Medal of Honor that he's making Medal of Honor. For its powerful and exciting single player story. What a weird loop. Put the player in the boots of a soldier who was 2115. It's a series that Infinity is Ward history, to respawn. Emotionally authentic story. Back to Medal of Honor. Peter Hirschman, who directed the original Medal of Honor in 1999, is back at the helm of this project. You'll hear more from him in just a bit. Peter and I oh, that docu series on Netflix. Allied Assault in 2002. I did not. And I'm really because happy I read the synopsis and it, craft a it felt like a show I'd already seen. VR. Or that it would just toss out the, the same like fun facts about stuff I've already heard. World War II like you've never seen or played. I don't know, I should check it out. It weaves in the personal might, stories might be new info there. of the veterans and survivors of the war through powerful interviews that help set the stage for what players will experience. It's more than just a game. What document? You could not be more I can't remember what it's to called. The world a very generic looking... Medal of Honor above and beyond... And documentary about 80s store. video games. Let's take a look. Like, it'll, I'm sure it starts with Atari and then goes to the game crash and then to NES and then it'll comment about their, like, Nintendo of America's business practices and how intense and, and aggressive they were. This family friendly company was actually not so friendly, it turns I out. The first time I guarantee you there's going to be some line like that in there somewhere. I'm being very prejudgmental about it um, because I feel like I've seen a lot of that already. I'm scared too. Is it gonna have a Normandy level again? I guess it's been a long time. It's been a long time since we played a Normandy level. Welcome to France, gentlemen. I lead the local Is this new world with Bruce? Not yet. That's supposed to start Something big at is one. Inside Gestapo headquarters, and we don't know what it is. We're gonna have to improvise here. Oh, COD World War II. Right. Is this VR? Why does he have floaty arms? Members of the resistance are perhaps the yeah. bravest people fighting in this war. Medal of Vyarner. Really okay, so it's like a little, a little puzzle assassin though. That's kind of cool. Lieutenant. All right, all right, all right. Oh, it said Oculus at the start. Okay, I was, I was too busy yelling about something stupid. Be a wild ride, but we'll get you there. Yes. I'm gonna give a firm handshake to an American hero. He might be more than a little bit racist. You have Medal of Honor, Alex? Like I said. Boom. Although, I have to admit, imagine being a World War II veteran. And seeing people go to virtual reality to fight in a war that you fought in and never ever want to see again. And people now do it for fun. I am. These are not. These are not like. This is like. Somehow. High school level philosophy. Tasked with saving civilization. Actually, Christmas is more about buying gifts. Yeah. God help us. Another all. eye roll. 
That's that's neat. That's neat. I like that. Except I don't like Facebook. So I like how they had to throw their their branding on it. Oculus from Facebook. 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 Well, I'll never play that. Unless I can hack it to where it run on an index, I guess. Thank you so much, Vince. That looks incredible. And now we're here with Respawn Entertainment's Peter Hirschman, game director on Medal of Honor Above and Beyond, to talk more about their new VR experience. Uh, Peter, I got to say, the trailer really. They're going to change the name to Facebook VR. Yeah. Story that you're telling to. Uh, I I tell us about this single player. Of all the things I blame Facebook, Facebook for, I also kind of blame them well, for. Well, thank you for having us uh, on the show. The, not um, launching VR, VR properly. Team back at Respawn. Oculus team. was already so launching hard hardware, and sense. then they got acquired, and then they stopped uh, with you. for like two and a half years uh, Miller, uh, going back to make a whole aggravating, dumbass platform for Oculus. And it was so garbage. Like. Fighting in World War Two. Um, and with mm. VR, we're oh. able to... Facebook ruins everything it touches. A everything. Way. Uh, it's, it's definitely the most immersive experience, most immersive combat Just experience to use different cables? Uh, I've ever huh? been able to work on. To be able to use different hardware um, with... Uh, follows, or to be able to use uh, an index with Oculus? Into the office of it's more like if, if it's locked to their platform and you have to like sign into Oculus uh, slash Facebook to play that? No thank you. No thank you. Rescue, everything uh, in between. Uh, you name it, they did it. Um, and they're known by a different Facebook set of Facebook bad delete Facebook. Uh, now, well said. CIA. Get that tattooed on my um, neck. But during World War II, Gothic script. Uh, they sent operatives all, all over Europe, uh, deep behind enemy lines. Uh, and that allows Shame it's an us Oculus to tell exclusive. Story I don't feel bad for anyone. Like, if you take Facebook money, you kind of deserve what's coming to you. That really helped uh, I know a lot of people were super bitter about world. Facebook. One of the things I tanking, about the trailer is you can tell uh, a lot of journalism and, and, and like news reporting because of Facebook Watch and all the, and other things all the outright lying they were about. doing. Um, I remember that happening at Machinima to, back to when I was there. People were like, oh, Facebook's going to be huge. And I'm like, are you a dumb asshole? Facebook lies about everything. Oh, well, we and you are sipping that Kool-Aid, man. Happened at Rooster Teeth again, too. Um, you know, which is Our old director of programming is like, films. Facebook uh, Watch, you won't imagine how many views we're going to get. And then at some point, uh, we'll make money. And I'm like, and the story follows you a, dumb a, idiot. A classic three you donkey. Structure, um, you smooth brain donkey. Working with the, the French resistance. Yeah, now it's Facebook Gaming, the where they bought a lot of talent to and then didn't do anything and didn't and support fight, it. Uh, to get to Berlin. Uh, and then the third act is dealing with the Nazi secret. Luckily, I was able to, to like, you know, at that point, I was at a place where I could be like, I'm not working on that. Jet and the V2 rocket and, and things. Go, go cry alone, asshole. I'm not doing anything for Facebook. Um, so you get to go <sighs> on this. All right. I'm this glad I got that off my chest. For, you know, <laughs> thank you for, thank you for um, enduring that. The story is shot all from your perspective because it's VR. Your head is the camera. We don't have cutscenes. We don't have edits. Everything, uh, everything revolves around your perspective. So you experience. Let's see what taskbars you got pinned. Completely in first person. I think I see Microsoft Word. There. Uh, um, so it creates. A got Windows Explorer. And, and, uh, he's got his. Um, he's got his Cortana search bar on. And the things going on around. That's a, that's a ding there. Uh, it, it was um, a, an incredible way to, to shoot um, one of our notepad? I'm trying to figure the, out what this. What's this white square uh, here? That looks like Word. That looks like the new Word. Maybe um, Excel. Actors are, are always <sighs> reacting and talking to you directly. And in VR, it's such a, that looks like Explorer, Windows Explorer. Emotional connection and just makes the experience all the more. Slack or Discord? Ooh. Well, you yeah, and Vince, what? I know this this series is really close to your heart, and uh, I, I, I'm like, wow, there's just, there's so much there. Remix. It looks really rich. See and here, Edge is like a swirl. Well. Um, you know, paying tribute um, to everyone that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one might be. So I thought I, I thought that was Word. Multiplayer, which is something that respawns. But that could really be Edge. Known for, and you've had a great single player experience. But I hear you might also be doing MP too. Oh, I don't. Well, yeah. yeah, I mean, think of okay, that could be Slack. Yeah, that, uh, you know, I've spent so. Much, I mean, okay, we've been for a long epic. time. I, you know, I, trying to buy the uh, you know, so trying, trying to buy the career, control trying DLC to map, natural human movements to edge screen. Control Are you sure, and just figuring out like making it feel good and, and uh, okay. The hardest ones yeah, it's is, is got a little splash of green on it. You're right and, about that. In VR, you know how you do. Well, that might be Chrome. And, and how there. you lean in VR, you you just lean, and so the ability to lean around a corner, just kind of peek around. Messing with the bit rate. Where the bad guy is is just it, it heightens the tension so ah, much it makes gotta it, wait for keyframes it, it feel all the more real and when you put that into a java experience uh, windows store it, it could be raises it to a whole nother level she's so explaining shipping, vr in addition to the campaign we are shipping wait, uh, a full suite of vr modes uh, including a few that you can why is youtube not in, VR in my what about, uh people it's not those, there uh, um 
you know, uh, after right, it comes weird. out. Wow. Well, definitely a full-blown VR experience. I got to say, I'm really excited to uh, put the headset on. What switches and do you have for your keyboard? They're out, uh, later this year, blues, right? I think. Coming out I bought holiday, this keyboard so, before uh, there were different kinds of mechanical uh, switches, but uh, the caps, like the little so thingies under them, are blue. To, to bring it to this keyboard's also about a decade old. Like, so. like you mentioned, it's a passion project for... For Vince and I and everyone. Uh, Destiny too. I'm excited um, for that too. It's it's Destiny, uh, it's a Destiny, wonderful full Destiny, circle. Show me ice grenades. Uh, Destiny. Experience for a lot of us that got our started our careers working on those original set going back first one and 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 uh, uh, Allied Assault and now to be able to bring above and beyond uh, Build to a custom a whole keyboard new generation is uh, is one. Of Sometimes the in life. I can look at the awesome, void and not so fall directly Peter. into it. Opening night live. And I think right back mechanical meantime, keyboards. Here's a look at a ah, new game that is launching. A little bit of a break. Tonight. Just tell me why. Xbox game of the year, tell me why, no. The world was broken. The world was broken. By the magic the vow keepers said they would protect us from. Hit me with that lore. Spellstorms still rage across the ruins of the Hollow Lands. Hello Lands. This is proof. This is proof. They say it isn't safe. I want to do, controlled. I want to do like generic fantasy VO at some point. But, like, just be super uh, inconsistent with my accent. Hello, wow, yeah. Welcome to the land of air and Eternium. You must defend the fair creatures from the Diarchnias. I have broken my vow. I have broken and my vow. I fight. To break free. Embrace the power glove, warrior. And now it's anime? What's happening? She was a normal high school student until she found the, gl the glove of Absurdum. What do you think of the new Dragon Age? Uh, that's a complicated question. That's like asking what do you think of Santa, because you're asking me about something that doesn't exist. Sweet guitar. That looks kind of cool. I mean, I'm, I'm being snarky. Okay, we got gameplay, now we're talking. Kind of like Smite, but with more movement options, maybe? Uh, I don't see creeps, but this sure does look like a MOBA. Or, excuse me, what is it? Hero Brawler? It's a Battle Royale? Nah, no way it's Battle Royale. Maybe? Actually, that map does look pretty big. Never mind. I think you're right. But it's like, it looks like there's hero classes. So, oh, you played it, it's a Battle Royale? Okay. So is it Battle Royale, but like you pick one of five elements? They're using Blizzard's font. They're using World of Warcraft font. Can you do that? I also like how they gave her a hoodie. How do we make something look fantasy, but also cool? Give them a magical hoodie. Oh, spells are pickups. Items are your abilities. Huh. Alrighty. Ah. Uh, Microsoft Sizzle. Destiny? Destiny on Game Pass? How would that even work? Faber! It is pretty cool that they greenlit another Fable. What? Best Xbox Game Award goes to Xbox Game Pass. Yeah. The award for, e for Best Xbox Game Pass goes to... Xbox Games Pass. Uh, happy, happy. Thanks for the Prime sub. Also, Neon Phil, thank you for the Prime. Attractive Chocolate, thanks for the sub. And the Pog. There needs to be an album called That's What I Call, Now That's What I Call Sizzle Real Music. And it's just a bunch of Imagine Dragons knockoff tracks. I did play the original Fables. Um, 
I liked them, actually. But not, like, I didn't like them because I bought into the, the concept of what they were supposed to be. I just liked them because they were quirky, weird, and really funny action RPGs. Yeah, gotta love that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Always overdriven. And like a stomp. Whoa! Stomp. Whoa! So many great games in Xbox. I love Pass Sizzle Reels. Many of tonight's I, games I don't mean to sound too well. snarky. I actually uh, love Sizzle Every year Sizzles. at Gamescom, we like to highlight some incredible games made in Germany. And tonight, we have a special announcement about Game Pass one of the most legendary it's German games of all time created by yeah, Factor 5. Have, uh, Enjoy. Wait, what? Factor 5? Layer 2? Oh, shit! Uh, what his name is? Weird game? I remember this one. Turrican? Are they making another Turrican? Or is this just Factor 5 being awesome? Yeah. Factor 5 is awesome. And I, I miss the days of like... Oh, they must be remastering Turrican. Okay, well, I can't say I saw that one coming. Who's releasing that? Who has the rights to Turrican? I'm a, this feels like a THQ Nordic special, but I don't know if it is. Made by M2. It's going to be a good this port. This was yeah. the first game that allowed me to completely fulfill my musical vision. Factor 5 did Contra 4. No, that was way forward. Um, Factor 5. It's one of my They're the ones who did the, um, the Rogue Squadron games, right? Uh, sometimes you get Factor 5 mixed up with... Factor 5 was the dev that got killed by Layer, right? Yes. Layer, layer put Factor 5 in the ground. Yeah, and then they did the Rogue Squadron games. They did Contra, the Game Boy Punter port of Contra 3. Weird. In June, Bungie revealed a new era of Destiny 2 that starts on November 10th with Beyond Light. De For the first De time ever, me. Guardians will De add a De new me. elemental power to their arsenal, the dark power of stasis. With stasis, players will take on the powers of darkness to control and dominate the battle. Here's an all new look at Stasis from Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Doodly 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 doodly. Finally, a real game for real gamers. The floodgates are open. The darkness is here. I mean, it was always. Ah, oh, it's fine. As you step away from the light, we need only look inward. Focus your power. Let it grow. Triangles are bigger than ever. Our fight is far from over. New enemy type. Uh, give me that warlocket. I don't... Oh, okay. You shoot projectiles and you have an AoE. Alright. Oh, that's going to be annoying as shit. They're like adding stuns now. Or like roots, basically. Crowd, like crowd control abilities. Oh, no. Uh, the, like, the game, the game design concept of like a free hit, you know? The scorpion spear that get over here. That, that gap between I've been frozen and I just have to wait to die. That... It's an interesting choice to add to a game like Destiny. I think it'll work. Um, as long as the cool, like, as long as the sun is very short. And I imagine it would be. Yeah, okay, so you can make, you can make, uh, walls and stuff in PvP. Oh man, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. They had to, man, they had to do so much checking about level geometry. Being able to do that changes the way, like, the way any map functions if a player of a given class can just close off an entire hallway for a few seconds. Tonight, yes! Destiny 2 Beyond Light. Oh. So, without further ado... The Morals, Miles Morales Spider-Man. Cyberpunk 2077. What?! Congratulations. Stephanie! Of course, Congrats! Best PS5 game! So check out the Cyberpunk! Game. 
most user voting. We're Woo! For your favorite streamer, Gamescom's most wanted, and best of Gamescom. The winners will be revealed at Gamescom Best of Show, along with cool cosplayers, esports, and more. So tune in on Sunday, the 30th. At I guess it's gonna suck shit on Xbox then, huh? The grand finale of this year's Gamescom, where we give games. What the? Doesn't even doesn't even come out of PS5. I just want to say that I hope until next out there year, staying safe and healthy. We're all in this together, so take care. I should have given it to Nac Three. Thank you very much, uh, Sydney. It's great to have you on the show again this year. Uh, all right. Well, a lot of people have been wondering. No one else can give out awards like Sydney. Generation of gaming feel like how will it be different? What is that generational difference? Well. Back in June, we saw the announcement of Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart from Insomniac. You can tell they had to like turn 2D logos into 3D objects because it's just a flat like hard drive and the 3D. There's not even a gradient or anything on it, which makes it kind of hard to read. Is only possible they just got 2D logos and then had to super them over, well, and then they they figured out it looked really weird if it was just 2D. an extended, uninterrupted demo of live PlayStation 5 gameplay of Ratchet and Clank for days, Rift yeah. Apart. Yeah. Enjoy. Hit that little twirly down. Extrusion. Yeah, Ratchet and Clank. Extrusion. This is cool, though. I mean, this is kind of what, I guess, what people came for. Gameplay. Yeah, they always talk about the next generation like it's some space age stuff, but it's a plastic box you play games on, and you won't even do that for a while. I feel like every five to six years, we gotta remind everyone what generation launches are like. This one might be different, actually. From where we last saw him. Series X, you can play all your, your one games. PS5, it seems like you can play most of your PS4 games. So, at least when you plug in your new box and you play, you finish Miles Morales in five hours. At least you can go play, you know, Ghost of Tsushima again. So they showed this already, right? Am I crazy? This is the same level. It was just a hyper cut. Okay. Yeah. Bruce is starting to prep for war. You need to sign up. I know. Um, I have to, like, queue, I think. He said they were wrapping it up, and I, I thought I had time. Um, let me, uh... I don't think of anything bad's gonna happen. Can I pop you out? You can't pop out the YouTube player, can you? Alright. The train's pulling away. Let's go! 121,000 watching though, that's pretty cool. Mini player? Uh, is that something you have to install? I never do this, so. Oh wait, there you are. Nope, it just it doesn't pop it out, it just hovers it over YouTube. Double right click? There we go. Dimensionator nefarious. All right, that's cool. Thank you. Oh. <sighs> Soon, everything you see will be mine. There. Can't close Chrome. Can't do that. This is so weird. I'm sorry, guys. I so I've been playing New Worlds, and uh, my um, the group that I'm in has a. Uh, has a war scheduled, and I was really excited to check it out. The problem is it starts exactly at 1, so... Oh, great. Update queued. Thanks for that. Was that supposed to Why download things? This device seems to have destabilized reality. The bridge is shot! There has to be another way across. Hmm. Are we gonna... The rips appeared to react to your device. Are we gonna... Try pointing it at one of them. Oh. Okay, it's done. <laughs> that was rather exciting. Alright, I think I can figure this out. This looks really cool though, and I'm glad that they at least have one like extended gameplay. Uh, New World will probably load over this until I make it windowed. Um, so this is how we're gonna do this. <laughs> Just to make sure I don't miss any of this hot gaming. I guess I'm becoming an adult. I'm becoming a grown-up streamer now. Let me move this over here so it's not covered by the, the sub feed. Sorry about that. Uh, I don't think I need to save that. Oh, sick. It stays on top. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is worse than I had imagined. Everyone look! It's Ratchet and Clank! Ratchet and Clank! 
to the clink. Oh. Just update. I just patched it. I Or at least a very large octopus. Ah. Gives me time to watch the uh, the old Ratchet and Clank demo then, huh? The wallpaper sent out of ten. It's it's actually randomized. Uh, I have a I have a folder with like thirty thousand pictures I've just saved from the internet. Uh, so. Uh, which will get me in trouble someday because there's some spicy memes from early internet in there and I don't know what the file names are so I don't know how to get them out some real spicy memes this looks cool this this looks this looks fun uh, I'm excited for this this is like to be honest like between this and miles Morales I think there's more shown for the PS5 than the Series X at this point, especially since Halo got pushed. Good lord. But, you know, Xbox wants you to sign up for Game Pass. They don't necessarily need to say, sell you consoles. It's just weird to think about that. Can't wait to see what's new. Gotta open the folder and go through them one by one. I started to do that at a point and gave up. I actually went through and tried to started trying to rename files to something more indicative of what they were. And yeah, I spent like one afternoon on it and was like, nope, I'm not doing this. Oh, that's as big as it gets. Okay. This is still a special event stream. Yeah, dog. Look at all this special action happening. Yeah, Game Pass on PC plus PS5 for exclusives. Yeah. And if you want to cover all your bases, Game Pass on PC, PS5, and Switch. Although, dude, that 4K Switch rumor... That got me tingly. I think that's that's probably the next-gen system I'm excited for the most, especially if it's 100% backwards compatible. And Nintendo, bizarrely, has always been pretty fiending on backwards compatibility to the point of putting, like, a GBA slot in a DS and stuff like that. Crazy. Well, it is certainly not good. Right. Oh, now it's updating. Okay. <laughs> X for doubt. That will see 4K on a mobile platform. Well, I mean, so the Switch can do 1080p, right? It just can't do it very well. I don't... I think it's pretty feasible that the Switch can output a 4K image. The Switch then has to fill that all those pixels with stuff, and it's probably not going to. Um, I would expect, like, it can output 4K for video services. Um, and maybe for, like, indie games, where it's just 2D or maybe rudimentary 3D. Basic racing games, probably. But... I wouldn't expect 4K from, like... N Nintendo First Party could probably make their games run in 4K. Ratchet. Anyway, here's my character. His name is Brent. Ratchet! It's her again! I think... I think... Here's the thing. I think because we've been on this generation of consoles for so long, people have kind of forgotten what... That hardware kept marching along the whole time. I think a, a handheld that can output a 4K signal is not that, not that unfeasible. Boy, here's the problem. This game is so much louder than the stream. I had to kind of juice the volume to make Jeff a little uh, audible. Another Brent? You Brent? Go sign up at the Warboard. Alright, that's what I see right away. Warboard! Uh, where's the Warboard? Warboard! Warboard! More importantly, perhaps, though, is the dimensional shifting that we have going on, which uses the SSD that allows us to... Hello, can I get added for war? <laughs> Uh, lightning fast, like in, in way, way faster than any we've ever been able to do before. Yeah, the, the Only usable during pre-war phase. The, uh, Did I miss it? In the, the trailer. So that's that's Shit. all actual gameplay. Mike, I'm curious, like, how does that how does that work as you kind of play through the game? Are there certain moments and levels where you can jump, or how, how do you play through that? 
Yeah, so in the game, there is dimensional damage. Did Jeff, did Jeff Keighley's long ass show prevent me from warring? And you can find these Am I too late for war? Space time that you can pull to, to you with your rift tether. It's like being able to lasso a portal. And that enables you to basically like warp across Shit. the world to. Did Bruce get in? Anyone know? To discover or gain a tactical advantage in combat. Wow. Yeah, Sign up now. The war starts in five minutes. The, the jumping from multiple worlds uh, at, 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 you know, at instantaneously almost. And it sounds like there's no load screens throughout the entire game. That's right. We're going to. That's things. right. Yep. Wow. All right. You fight so confident. Both of you say it. I like it. Um, now, <laughs> let me ask you about dual sense. That's something that is a big part of PS5. Uh, I've had a chance to hands on the controller with the adaptive triggers and the haptics. Um, how are you using that for to sort of impact the game? Fort First Light. Fuck. Fuck this. All right. I don't know where that is, but. Clank game is a powerful arsenal of weapons. Just exude a ton of personality. Shit. And the dual oh. sense is sort of like it feels like it was made. I'll fast travel. I don't care. Shut up. Get to the war, people. I don't know when I got blue stuff, but luckily I have it. Fast travel exists. It costs currency, but luckily, I guess I did some PvP stuff yesterday that got me the bits I need. More, 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 more! Time for wars! Hooray! We're bored! Why did I get banned from the war? Who banned me from war? Yeah, here we go. Yes! Sign up. So. Example, Wait, demo, be online officer, on standby. You can pull the trigger. You still have a chance to backfill during the war if you stay online during it. All right. Oh, so I'm in a key, I'm in standby to play the game. For a double shot. Hmm. So you might be swarmed by a bunch of little enemies. You only want to waste one shot on them, and then wait a minute for even more to swarm in before. Let me see if Bruce got in. Bruce's name is Fierce. Look at the standby list. Ah, bro, I'm 77th in line for war. Ugh. No, I'm excited to see how you guys are gonna roll that out across what I'm sure are an insane, you know, group of weapons as always. Plot-wise. Marcus, tell us a bit about this game. I think some fans have wondered, you know, does this tie into the movie plot line, the game plot line? Like, how would tell us in the There's no way. where this sits? There's like, there's no way these people are just going to well, leave, right? This is a, an people in have to leave. 77 people have to leave. More people than are in the fight right now have to bail out for me to but for me to play. Adventure, so <laughs> this it, is the only reason I wanted to play this it, game. You've never played a Ratchet Clank game. You I'm looking for Bruce in the in the standby it, list. And enjoy it. Um, for hard Bruce is in group seven. Oh yeah, there. Aw, damn it. Damn it, Jeff! I had to watch your goddamn eight-minute Blizzard slideshow to, so you could pad out the length of your show, and I didn't get to war. I mean, I could have done this earlier, but like, is that something we saw in the demo? Is that something? Yeah, praise God for Walking Dead bridge constructor. moments, like I guess I'm curious, like how often you use. Oh well, it just means I get to start the control DLC earlier, right? That's on me. That's on me. Has created these anomalies all throughout the galaxy. You'll encounter those pretty often. There's even a few more types of dimensional damage you'll encounter that we haven't shown yet. Now, being pulled between worlds, that's that's localized to chasing after Dr. Nefarious in the demo. Um, and that's sort of reserved for special moments when you really have to... Um, <sighs> when, when the dimensional damage really tears wide open. Well, I gotta say, yeah, I noticed that, uh, Battleroid. We got another tease of uh, this female Lombax. Uh, I, I know you guys have confirmed she is playable in parts of the game. Uh, I think everyone wants to know, though, do we have a name for her? Uh, I mean, the world is more interesting with mysteries, and we're going to have to keep this one uh, a little longer. Do, do we get a number of letters in her name or anything? <laughs> Too many smart Maybe when people die, they backfill? She's not named Abby, though, right? <laughs> All right, well, we'll have to wait and see what you guys have in store for us. I got to say, I mean, it looks incredible. The Ratchet games are always so much fun, as you said, when you think of the power of SSD and the dual... I'm salty. This is just, it's just like... It looks really exciting. What, to make people wait 24 hours to do a war battle, and then to artificially limit the participation in it. 
I had to play the game for like three and a half to four hours to even get the ability to do this, to wait a day to be in line to play the only reason to play the game. That doesn't make any sense to me. It's like they're asking you for months and months of investment before they even let you see the game you're supposed to be playing. Why not make more rooms? You can't. Your your company has to declare war on something. And then it, it gives a 24-hour window to prepare. And then when it, the time almost comes, you have to show up early to register to maybe be able to play. Whereas, I don't think they're instanced, which might be the reason why. I will, I'll sit around. Um, it's not too late to join standby. God. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. I feel like... All right, now I can now I can change my <laughs> my. Uh... All right, well, hey, we can hang out. That's always fun. Dumb as hell. I the the frustrating thing is like, I wanted to believe in this game, but it does like. Why would it make it difficult to see the only reason to play the game? That's just baffling. I was hyped for it because, yeah, I was really, really excited. I was excited to see what the hell this game was about. Maybe they'll let me spectate? I guess there's another one. No, there's two? Can I queue for both? Fort Everfall. Oh, there's several. All at four. Maybe I can queue for many? But I can't travel to all of those because it consumes resources to fast travel, man. Why? Ongoing war. No goddamn sense. You have to go to that fort. I'm going more. So I'm going to go forward. View war info. Why can't I fast travel there? Oh, I thought fast travel here. Maybe. No. You have to first visit this outpost. Holy fuck, man. Yeah, it sucks you can't even spectate. I'd like, yeah, I would like to see what the game looks like so I know if I want to play it or not. Remember how you paid paid money? Well, I paid currency. We'd better be careful. Um, yeah, I want to watch watch Bruce's stream. The thing is, like, if I did that, I'd be rebroadcasting his stream, and that's not cool. Um, ah, well. This blows. This blows ass. <laughs> like... It, it grabbed a butt and then put it right up to its mouth and played it. Played it like a horn. Herm. Herm, 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 herm. Could you squad stream with him? I'll protect you. I don't... I don't understand how that makes it so that I can see the war. That makes it so you guys can see the war. And you can... You guys can go watch Bruce's stream to see what the hell's going on. But yeah. Uh, Amazon Game Studios sure did just like bundle up a bunch of ass. I guarantee you... At some point, what happened was there was a there was a meeting where a game developer said, "Wait a minute, we're gonna like not let people queue," and then somebody else is like, "It'll make them want it even more, even wanting more," said this guy, and everyone else was like, mm. "But for some reason, he was the he was the lead," and he's like, "Yeah, it's gonna create an air of mystery around it, and then people are gonna tune in on Twitch and watch it." Thanks for everyone that participated. What? No, there's no way it's over, is it? Nah, I think they were joking. Ongoing war. Or something. Ugh. Let's see. Is there anyone else? Am I still last? I am. Bruce is still in? Alright, cool. I mean, it's 50v50, which is cool. Bruce died and is still fighting. Okay, so it's not permadeath.
Okay, control. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna use the restroom and I will be back with control DLC, which I'll actually get to play. I'll be able to hit a button and it'll let me play the video game. So that's cool. See you guys in a second.